What's up everyone, Chris from Platinum Hobbies here. I want to go over this special uh, ready to fly build that we just got done with. Um, did a couple of uh, really cool upgrades on it and uh, kind of go over what we do on our custom builds and what really sets us apart from uh, the rest. So if you guys are interested in a custom ready to fly build or just want to take some of our uh, things that we've done here and implement them yourself, uh, we'll go over the few things that we did on this. Um, you can contact us at info at platinumhobbies.com or check out our website at www.platinumhobbies.com. So the first thing you might notice right off the bat is the LED lights coming down on all the arms. Um, we went ahead and wired all these in for a night fly session or even for uh, better orientation during the day. Um, when your camera is pointing down during the day, you won't notice it. It won't pick it up on the camera um, at night. That's a little different story. Um, so if you're filming, then um, you might want to turn them off. Or what we do ourselves is dim the actual LEDs down. Um, we put a controller on this copter. And we'll zoom in here. We have an LED controller here that will uh, control the copter, or control the LEDs to blink in different orientations, um, fast, slow, and it will brighten it or dim the lights. So that's a uh, pretty cool upgrade we did there. And then uh, if you don't want them on at all, just unplug it and uh, the lights will not be on. Um, these are running off of uh, the main power distribution board, so you don't need to add an extra battery. Um, and these lights hardly draw any power at all, so you won't notice a difference in runtime. So, let's see if we can drop down an arm and kind of. So we got the uh, green light in the back flashing right now. Um, if we want to speed it up, we can press the uh, middle button here, and this will give us different speeds of our blinks. From very slow to fast. Um, then we have different flashing modes. Or constant on. So kind of cool, it gives you different effects in the air. Um, great for orientation at night, as I said. Um, solid. And then uh, if you're on solid, there's you just press the middle button and you get them dim to bright. Um, as you see here, super dim, so you won't have a big issue with them, uh, with the camera picking up the lights at night. Uh, super bright, that's going to be a whole different story. As you see it really illuminates when we're shooting during the day with the lights on. Uh, really illuminates it so the camera will pick that up. Um, if you want them off, just uh, unplug here and it'll turn them off on. This particular unit is um, we're running a dual operator on this particular unit, so we're using a uh, Fat Shark 5 volt camera here for the pilot. Uh, that camera is running through the uh, Mark II OSD. Also, if you notice here, all of our um, cables are covered in wire mesh for the nice clean look so you don't have a whole bunch of discolored cables running around same thing that's going into the light bridge 
all of our cables are covered looking very nice um, same thing that we did down here for the for the light bridge antennas all the cables are covered in wire mesh wrapped around the legs um, keeps it real clean so you don't have that gray wire um, also I don't know if we can tell here but uh, went ahead and did a upgrade on the antenna itself took off our white and uh, made it black so it'll match the uh, copter legs and the, and the antenna holder instead of having that white um, the white covering on it just goes to that clean look um, at Platinum Hobbies that is what we do highly customized jobs for uh, customers who are wanting top-notch top quality looks of a copter for the professional um, without going through and spending your time to do it um, our ready to fly packages unlike others we actually put them up in the air and do about four to five real world test we do test all the modes return to home everything like that um, unlike others who uh, claim ready to flies where they just put it together on the bench put the uh, put power to it turn the motors and uh, let it go off so we actually tune it to our likings um, make sure that the wobbles are out of it um, We've, we've fixed a lot of copters from uh, other people that uh, claim that they're ready to fly and the customer gets them and uh, puts them up in the air and crashes it because they are way out of tune and uh, wobbling and things like that. So we take on the uh, risk for tuning it and uh, putting it up in the air and uh, just really dialing it in to be sure that uh, you have an all-in-one copter out of the package ready to go um, we also cover up all of our wires on the inside of the copter um, just to make everything look nice and clean um, so yeah attention to detail is what we go after um, not everyone else does and uh, if you're looking for a top-notch top-of-the-line copter that's been tested Put together um, with that attention to detail then uh, give us a call give us an email and uh, we'll quote you out a 100% uh, true ready to fly copter and again our website's www.platinumhobbies.com and our email is info at platinumhobbies.com